Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. In this video we are going to discuss open source web application tool for data scientists. This tool is very handy for experiments and uh, allows data scientists to create and share documents that integrate live code, equations, computational output, even visualization and other multimedia resources along with uh, explanatory text in a single document so by now you must have guessed it yes we are talking about Jupyter notebook if you have ever write any code for machine learning then you must have aware about uh, Jupyter notebook or maybe you have uh, used Jupyter notebook for uh, Python development most of us are aware about Jupyter Notebook, but we are not aware that Jupyter Projects and uh, this community also provide to more development environment, which is very helpful for data scientists. So let's see all the tools provided by Jupyter community one by one. So we are going to see Jupyter Notebook, then we'll see Jupyter Lab, and third would be more interesting, which is Voila okay so now let's see what all information they have provided on their website so this is the website uh, jupyter.org so you can find three tools over here first one is jupyter lab a next generation notebook interface in a moment we are going to see this this is quite uh, uh, impressive and uh, this is also my favorite i generally use this uh, all the time and the second one is uh, Jupyter Notebook, which is also called the Classic Notebook Interface. I think most of us have already used this. And the third one is quite interesting, which is Voila, used to share your results. So uh, you must have used uh, many BI tools such as Power BI or Tableau. But uh, now it is possible to build an interactive dashboard directly from Jupyter Notebook. Voila allows you to convert a Jupyter Notebook into an interactive dashboard. The notebook and its output are converted to HTML and uh, by default the notebook code cells are hidden once you execute the you know, Voila command. Okay, so now let's bring the terminal and uh, we will try to uh, you know launch the Voila command. So let's uh, Okay, before that, let's see how you can install your uh, notebook. So suppose if you want to install uh, Jupyter Lab, just you have to type pip install Jupyter Lab. For Jupyter Notebook, you have to do pip install notebook. And for Voila, you have to use pip install Voila, right? And suppose you have already installed it and you want to launch it. So for that, you have to type Jupyter Lab. For Jupyter Notebook, you have to type Jupyter Notebook. And for Voila, we are going to see how you can use it. So let's bring the uh, terminal and we will try to uh, launch these uh, tool. So let's start with, uh, I have already installed all uh, all three of them. So let's see first see the Jupyter Notebook. So for that, we need to ch type Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, so it's executed and you will get this kind of uh, UI where you can create your Python notebook or if you have already created, simply you, you can click on it and you will get this, uh, you know, cell where you can write your code like suppose uh, import pandas as pd. So you can start developing your code over here. I think uh, most of us have already used it. So let's uh, move to our next uh, next tool which is uh, let's interrupt it uh, next one is uh, uh, Jupyter lab Jupyter lab as you can see to launch Jupyter lab we have to use Jupyter hyphen lab okay let's execute it so once you do that you will be getting something like this so this is my favorite actually if you see this, uh, it's present inside my tab and here you can 
open multiple tab right that's the best part of it suppose you are working on multiple templates and you want to open it in a single tab so you can do it if you and the best part is if you are working on uh, if you are exploring some data set so you can also uh, check those uh, data set or open that data set in the same tab so that way you can use it and the best thing I will tell you about it is the theme you have two themes by default present over here light theme and the dark theme you will also get this area to explore your file over here and yeah these are the tabs you can you can open multiple tab and you have multiple feature over here and best thing is you will get some reference document over here suppose you want to read about numpy you can click on it and uh, you will get all those information regarding the numpy so it's it has some additional feature which you can utilize and uh, yeah, enjoy it yeah so i think most of the data scientists uh, use this tool for their development and for their experiments i personally like let's see how you can use uh, Boila for your development so suppose I have created this uh, notebook where I have uh, created multiple table which is uh, uh, which is so let's see how you can utilize your Boila so in this notebook I have created multiple tables it has some numbers uh, and it has also some graphs so I want to show this to my team and probably for them these code are not relevant just they want to see the output they want some dashboard uh, around this so what I have to do uh, you can directly let's come down right uh, I want to uh, I have written all this code inside this file so what you have to do you have to write this command voila and this uh, notebook name not file it's uh, notebook name so you have to write voila and your notebook name and just execute it so now what will happen it will try to create a uh, dashboard where it will show all the outputs as you can see in my in my actual notebook I have written codes and the output but this dashboard only show you the output which will be more relevant to the audience uh, to which you want to show this right so this is quite helpful as you can see you have uh, these graph uh, over here so it will uh, good for representation right you can go on their website and you can find multiple implementation on Voila uh, so you can go over here and browse multiple thing they have created multiple implementation around the voila uh, different type of graph you can build different type of dashboard you can create you can also find this documentation over here just go through that if you want uh, any specific uh, dashboard if you want to build just go and check thank you for watching and goodbye